Okay, so today we are going to check out, I'm going to do this just to demonstrate to you how you actually do it. I've never, I haven't even opened this yet, so I don't know what it says inside, but it's the water, city water test. And this is a mason jar full of city water that I got from the city here in St. Louis. So I'm just going to open this. Uh, I dropped stuff. Total hardness. Okay, so there has to be directions in here. So it says on the sheet, on the cover, it says that it tests for lead, uh, bacteria, chlorine, pesticides, hardness, nitrates, and nitrites, and the pH. So, let's see here. Okay, so this is the bacteria test vial. And I guess it says this is the lead pesticide test kit packet. So let's start with, it says to start with the bacteria. So let's start with the bacteria here. I have to open it. So yeah, I've never done one of these before, and I uh, kind of wanted to just show you guys how to do it so that you had something to go by without having to open. Okay, so it says take out the bacteria test file and set up right on a flat surface, collect water sample, or turn on tap to very slow stream. Okay, so I'm going to open this up. Now, this water is actually, like, pretty old. I got it, like, last week. And then I meant to do the test earlier. Okay, so carefully twist off cap and vial to one half inch below the top. And fill vial to one half inch below the top. So the five milliliter line. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see the five milliliter line is right here. The line is actually right there where my nail is. So I'm going to try and pour this in here. Uh, a little bit more. Okay. That might be a little bit above the five milliliter line, but okay. So then it says replace the cap and twist on tightly. So I'm gonna replace, shake the vial vigorously for 20 seconds. Okay, so then it says place the capped vial upright in a warm area where it cannot be disturbed for 48 hours. Then it says after 48 hours, observe the color of the liquid without opening the vial. Purple color is a negative result. There was no bacteria detected. Yellow color, a positive result. It is highly likely that potential harmful bacteria were detected. For positive results, add bleach to the sample before pouring down the toilet. Then wash hands thoroughly. Negative samples may be poured directly into the toilet. Discard vial in the trash. So I think I've been shaking this for 20 seconds. It looks um, purple. So 
I think that it probably will be a negative result, but I don't know if sitting for a day really does anything. So I'm just going to set it over here. Okay, so then the lead pesticide test instructions, which is this. So open the packet, take out all the contents. It contains a test vial and a dropper pipe at two water safe test strips and a two water safe test strips and this is a vial thing. Oh wait. Oh this. That's not needed. Using dropper, place exactly two droppers, dropper fulls of water sample into the test vial. Okay. So one, this is one dropper full. This is two. It's not really a lot of water. I wonder if I can get more water in here. I don't even, I don't know if I can get more water in here, but it's not much water with two droppers full, droppers, dropper fulls. <sighs> to pick up sample, tightly squeeze the bulb at the end of the dropper and place the open end into water sample. Oh. I didn't do it right, I don't think. Okay, so now I think I'm doing it right. It's a little bit more water. Okay. Swirl vial gently for several seconds. Place on a flat surface. Place both test strips into the test file with arrows pointing down. Okay, so there's arrows here and here on the tops here. I don't know if you can see that, but... So I'm going to place these. In there. Okay, so then it says place... Wait 10 minutes, do not disturb strips or vial during this time, but lines will, blue lines will appear on the strips. Take the strips out of the vial and lay them on a flat surface with the arrows pointing to the left. Negative. Left line next to number one is darker than the right. Mm, okay. Positive right line next to... Number two is darker than the left. If no lines appear, both lines are very light. The test did not run properly and the results are not valid. Okay. Well, I hope this does it right then. So now, I'm just going to set this aside because... I don't want to knock it over. So now it says the nitrate, nitrite, which is this little thing here. Carefully open nitrate, nitrite test packet and take out the test strip. Okay, this is 
harder than it looks. Okay. Ha ha. I got the test strip. It says immerse the reagent pads into water sample for 20, for two seconds. Move after one minute, match colors to chart below. So there's the pads. Oh geez. I don't even know if you can see that, but there's little pads on the strip. So So it says to immerse into water sample for two seconds, remove after one minute, match colors to chart below. So I'm just gonna put it on this little thing. So one Mississippi, two Mississippi. And I'm just gonna let it sit here. And after a minute, I'm supposed to look at the colors. So, and then I'm just gonna do the pH hardness while we're waiting for that one to develop. So carefully open pH hardness, chlorine test pack, and take out the test strip, immerse the reagent pads into water sample, and remove immediately, hold the strip level for 15 seconds. Match pH total hardness and total chlorine pads in that order to the color chart. So, this is what it looks like. There's the same like kind of pads. So I'm sticking it in here for a couple seconds there. And holding it level like it says. Wow, this is like intense. So this is the pH hardness, chlorine test instructions. Here's the pH color chart. This is the hardness color chart, and this is the chlorine color chart. Now, if we look at this, this um, very left one is the pH, and it looks like it's a 10, or possibly between an 8.5 and a 10, which is pretty alkaline. This is like ta city tap water. And then we have hardness, and that's about 120 parts per million, it says. So that's not particularly hard, uh, but it's not soft either. Okay, and then the chlorine here is a light pink, so I'd say that's a 2.0. So it's 2.0, okay, it's probably actually between 0 and 2.0. So maybe 1 parts per million. So that's how, many chlor how much chlorine is in the water. It's not that bad, actually. But there you go. That's the results for that one. And then this one, <clears throat> let's look back here is the nitrate nitrite. So um, so this pad is the nitrate nitrite. And it looks like a 0.5 parts per million, which is not bad. And then this one, the one on the right, looks a little bit more pink. Like between a 0.15 and 0.3 of parts per million, that's nitrite. Okay, good. And... Okay, so this one, how long was I supposed to let this sit? 10 minutes? them are towards the one. I, for the sake of having a shorter video, or not more than one video, am going to just take these out and see. It, the uh, left one near the one is uh, definitely dark. 
Now this one is a little light actually towards the two, which in on this means It says it's negative if the left line next to the number 1 is darker than the right line. So in both of these cases, that's the case. And this blue test strip is for pesticides and this one's for lead. So it's negative for lead and pesticides. I'm just going to stick it back in there. Just because. And then I'm not really sure what letting this sit for a day is, but I will let you know in the blog for this is the bacteria, but it's purple right now. So, I don't know. It says let sit for 48 hours. <laughs> That's ridiculous. But anyway, it's purple, which is a negative result, but I don't know if letting it sit for 48 hours is not gonna change the color. So I will let you know in the blog if that changes or not. And uh, that's 